take my eye then. I don't need two to kill you. Done. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that was bloody beautiful. This guy's an asshole. Fucking Asher. You were pale as a oh. snow bear's ass. Oh. <laughs> are, you, are you fucking joking? You bloody bastard. <laughs> this is why people steal your shit and take off in the night. Come on, you assholes. Have a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Joden. The Khaleesi's best wine. Your friend has an interesting sense of humor. So what in seven hells are you two doing here on the arse end of the earth, eh? You're a long way from young guy. We have a proposition for you. Your sword was always the quickest, Croft. I need you and your men to fight for me in Westeros. We need your hellhounds. A hundred good men. Hellhounds. Am I in a hobby's tip? Would I ever go back to Westeros? I've got it good right here. Her grace pays good coin. We can pay. I always knew your pockets were lines of gold. <laughs> and I will happily take it from you. But it's not up to me. The second sons are sworn to Daenerys Targaryen. I've laid my sword at her feet. For now. Perhaps we could talk to her. She's a little busy right now, commanding a fucking siege. Our enemies are nailing children up on post for a hundred miles, and a bloody dragon's gone missing. <laughs> but I know where to find her dragon. <laughs> Unfucking likely. <laughs> you expect me to believe you just happen to have seen the one fucking dragon loose in the world? Orange eyes, as big as my head, scales all black. That doesn't prove anything. Enough of this nonsense. I've got proof, you old fuck. Tell me what this is, if not a bloody dragon tooth. Uh, I wouldn't know a dragon tooth from a basilisk dick. Eh. Croft, I've seen her dragon. <sighs> oh, bugger me with a bloody spear. <laughs> if you're lying about this... Eh. Fair enough. Come on, you son of a bitch. <laughs> the beast's name is Drogon. You'll want to hear about him right away. And don't think you're going to charm her with that fucking Asher grin. <laughs> God. <laughs> that grin? Oh. This episode's feeling long again. Big day tomorrow, isn't it? Off to Craster's Keep. Assuming you're not too busy looking for your North Grove. I thought you didn't believe in it. Not saying I do. But if it was real, can you trust Cotter with it? You ask me. There's just something off about him. Aside from him being an oily thief, I mean. Cotter's not a bad sort. I trust him. Even after he tried stealing your map? Do as you like. But if we're going out there tomorrow, in the middle of fucking nowhere, I want to know who I can trust. Hmm. Finn, get back on watch until your relief arrives. They're late. You think Mance Raider is going to wait for them? <laughs> right. Asshole. And Tuttle, you've got torches that have gone out. Keep them lit. Let Oops. the wildlings know we're still home. Yes, sir. Excuse me. Want those two? But that one's fine. I like these two. Get it out of the way. Uncle Duncan brought these from Ironrath. Wonder if I'll ever see it again. What's use? That's ironwood for sure. <laughs> if anyone tries coming over the wall, well, those will stop them. Yeah. 
That's true. But now what? Just walk back. Oh, mine could freeze to death up here. What else we got? I'm just heading back. Yeah, this one's still good. <laughs> Thanks. What? I'm not done? What, what do I do? Do I go in here? I didn't look like I had an option. Got a bunch that are out. What the hell? There we go. Now what? This must hold up the lift. Probably fall apart if it wasn't frozen together. <laughs> Solid ice. This won't. Oh, great. It's gonna be Brett, right? Pig farmer. Great. A 300 mile walk, and you're still in my way. My torch. I figured we'd settle things on the way to Crosters, but this is even better. Jon Snow can't hold your hand now. I don't have any time for you anymore, Brett. I hate you. You hate me. Now let's move on. Right. Gary the Merciful, sparing the lives of everyone who does him wrong. I did duty to my lord back on that bloody farm. If for doing a proper job of it, what I get? Banished to the fucking wall! Come on, dude. I never did tell you about your father, did I? Oh, this guy sucks. We bled him at first. Like a pig. Seemed only fear he should feel what it's like. Near the end, he could barely breathe. Kept begging us to leave your sister alone. So I made sure he was still alive when she started screaming. It was the last thing your father ever heard. The more we sliced, the worse it got. You're not worth it. I didn't come here to chat, you fucking cunt. Great. <laughs> Too bad your father didn't fight like that. Might still be alive. And I thought you were going to make this easy. Stop, damn it! I don't want to fight you! What's the matter? Don't you want to make your father proud? I think I already have. Let's see if you scream like you. Up. Oh. What am I gonna have to do after? Oh. Nice. Dude, Garrett's badass. You got lucky, pig farmer. You didn't kill my man back at your farm. At least let me have my sword. Keep it interesting. Or are you afraid? I swore my vows. I won't kill a brother. You're fucking pathetic, Tuttle. <sighs> oh! Oh god, I blew that up. Okay. Nice. This is an intense fight up here, Jesus. Fucking 
Kick him off the wall. Wow, I wish I could. But, uh. I'm not a piece of crap. We're done here. God damn it, he died anyway. Should I just kick him off the wall? Great, thanks, Finn. Damn, should I have kicked him off the wall? A friend is a friend to the end of the end, that's forever. And a day. Stay by your side, don't give me say goodbye, come with me. Cause that's what friends do. 